Hey guys, let's talk about last night's awesome episode of Person of Interest and Carter goes rogue. I mean, it is so awesome to watch. She has put all the pieces together and now she just needs the final act to happen and that is for HR to turn against the Russians. And she concocts a plan that works brilliantly. She steals the drugs from the Russians, blaming it on HR, and then she has... She actually shoots into uh, Quinn's office and Quinn thinks it's the Russians attacking him. So a battle has ensued and it's game on. So HR has all of the dirty cops round up the 38 members of this Russian crew and there's a standoff. So right as as the, the dirty cops are about to execute all of these Russians, the FBI swoop in and they tell them, oh, well, we found, we got a tip that a bunch of dirty cops were about to shoot a bunch of crooked Russians and because they stole their drugs. And what do you know? They open up the trunk of one of the cops and the drugs are in the trunk. And of course, those are the drugs that Carter stole at the top of the show. Brilliant. So now we have all of Carter's, um, all of Carter's plan is working out brilliantly as HR is being taken down, or members of HR are being taken down, and the Russians are going down as well. Now, what um, Quinn didn't know was that Yogorov was taken in by Carter, and he tipped off uh, who it was that basically uh, had Cal murdered, which was the detective um, like at the end of last season, which is one of the driving forces behind Carter wanting to get Quinn as badly as she does. And the, 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 the craziest part was that Quinn took out his, her, his own grandson. I mean, if he'll do that, he'll do anything. So Yogorov turns on Quinn and, so that he can protect his brother who is in prison and get him put into a safer part of the prison. So Carter now goes to get a judge to issue an arrest warrant so that they can arrest Quinn. And of course, the judge is a crooked judge. And, you know, in the back of my mind, I had a feeling that the judge that she was calling was going to set her up, and that's exactly what happened. Now, did I think when Carter walked into the home, she was unaware that this was going to happen? No. Did I think that Reese was going to come lunging through some glass doors? Yes. But was it thrilling? Absolutely. Was there still a moment of suspense? Absolutely. And so it totally paid off. So, you know, Carter basically says to Quinn, listen, I thought I could do this the right way. I thought I could get evidence. I thought I could get, you know, you caught on video and pictures and everything. And I tried to do this as clean as possible. And like you, I brought someone along with me. Boom. In comes Reese. A, a shootout ensues. They grab Quinn. They take him outside. And Carter, Reese, and uh, Quint are off into the night. Now, before they b before uh, they can get away so cleanly, Simmons, who's of course the dirtiest one of them all with the uh, the cops, he gets an image off of the police um, camera that has an image of the three of them, and he basically says, "Send it out to everybody, not just the guys that are on our team, but all the crooked guys, like every dirty player out there, because I want all of these people brought back to me." So will they make it through the night? That's not his plan for the man in the suit, that is for sure. I mean, this episode was amazing. Just the way every little thing was going, you know, even Carter said goodbye to her son because she thought she was about to meet her maker. There was some great moments with her and Fosco. You know, she was telling him that he was the greatest party uh, partner that she's ever had. You know, it was like her swan song. She was going rogue and she didn't care. She was a one man wrecking machine and she had a death wish and she was going to see this through on her own as much as she could. And there was a great scene where, you know, she goes and calls on Shaw and Shaw gives her all this, like, you know, all these guns and these crazy, this crazy, like, bazooka that she ends up shooting through this truck. I mean, it's awesome. She has a moment to connect with almost everybody as she's pretty much saying goodbye to everybody because she feels like this is it. And she even gives Fosco a set of keys that to a safety deposit box. So if she did die, that they would still have all the evidence that they need. You know, Elias was at the top of this episode giving her some information and handed over a, a like a file with all the pictures of people from HR. So, you know, she had all of her ducks lined up. It was just, was she going to make it out in the end? It would have been crazy if they actually killed her. I mean, I don't want to see her go, but I mean, if they had actually gone there, I would have been like, 
damn, they are meaning business this season. But even though she survived, I still enjoyed it immensely. I mean, she still could meet her maker when it's all said and done, but her plan getting laid out the way it did was amazing. This show, this episode was all about Carter. We even got some flashbacks showing what happened between her and the father of her son. How, you know, when he was in at war, he came home, he was just so damaged, but he wouldn't get any help. And then finally he did. And that is where her son has been these last eight months with her father, with his father. And it was great to see that he had cleaned up his act and he was able to take care of his son. And, you know, so that was a really emotional scene when she was pretty much saying goodbye to her son without saying it. But wow, this season has been great. And I love that they are using all of their like tricks. You know, we didn't have any, um, we didn't have much Finch in this episode. We didn't have much of him, but that's okay. Like we had some really good scenes anyway, and pretty much all of the team was helping out in their own little way. So that was great. Carter was amazing and the episode ended and I was like, wow, when is the next one on? So I can't wait to see what they do next week. This show is on a roll. All right, guys, that's been my review of Person of Interest. See you next week. Bye.